Hi, this is Daryl Webster, Office 365 MVP, bringing you another observed change in Office 365. At Microsoft Ignite, we heard more about Office 365 groups. So up until now, a lot of people have seen it as just a collection of commonly used collaborative tools to be able to provision it easily and create a, a group of people that can use those tools together. But what was made clearer at Microsoft Ignite was that groups is more than just that, it's actually a way of managing access to those services and treating people together as a group across those services. So you can belong to an Office 365 group and you can access your OneNote experience, you'll be able to start calls to a whole group via Skype, um, you'll be able to see a, a Delve page which is for the group and being able to see the activity going on in that group and there'll be some um, existence with, with Yammer and having a, a security group that will be used to control membership in a, a Yammer group. So we're getting a clearer picture now of what Office 365 groups is. And the change that I observed this morning was one of these features becoming available, being able to share a file with a group, an Office 365 group, not just a SharePoint group or an individual person, but being able to say, I want to share this with the Office 365 group. So I'm going to take you through that now. I've got a, a group called OneNote Fans and I'm going to share a file from my OneDrive for Business and also from my team site and we'll see where that appears in the Office 365 group's experience. So here I am in the OneNote Fans files experience for Office 365 and you'll see that there is a, uh, a couple of views above the files themselves one called Shared With Us, and we've got the Recycle bin there now. Now it's the Shared With Us one that I was interested in that, that made me want to try this out. I wanted to see what would happen if I shared a file uh, from my OneDrive for Business, my personal OneDrive for Business, or from my team site. So we'll go and do that now. We'll go to my OneDrive for Business, and we'll share the from OneDrive FB file. So it is the same experience that we're used to when we're sharing things with people. I just want to drag this up and you'll notice that at the moment we've got the old padlock there and saying it's only shared with me. Now as I type in OneNote it begins to search and it does find the, the Office 365 group called OneNote Fans. I have the usual um, ability to give them edit or view access and we could go through and see the membership of that group and see that it's, you know, it's OneNote fans is one of the groups that it's been shared with. We'll click share and you'll see what does happen, the screen refreshes and you'll see that it is now shared with OneNote fans. So that icon has changed now and it indicates who it's been shared with. You'll see that column only in the OneDrive for Business experience. So we'll go and have a look after we share a file from uh, my, team, my team site to see uh, what, what that experience is like as well. So now visiting my team site, I'm now going to share the document, another team site document. Same sort of experience. Searching out OneNote fans, share with OneNote fans, and share the document. Now that we've shared those documents, what's our experience within the Office 365 Group's files experience? We'll go back to our OneNote fans view of this, and we'll check in the Shared With Us Group view. And now we've got the two documents, another team site document, and the one that's from OneDrive FB. So what we have here is the document hasn't been copied to the group files, it is still living where it has been shared from. And so if I visit this document, it will open up in Word Online, and you'll be able to see just basically from, from the uh, um, breadcrumb at the, at the top left-hand corner that I could go back and visit the, uh, the documents that are in Daryl Webster's OneDrive for Business. Likewise with when we go back and open up the, the team site document, if we open that up in, one, in uh, Word Online, we'll see that Webster Tech team site is where the document lives. So it's not copying the document to the group's files experience, it's just showing it in the Shared With Us view. The other thing to note is that because I am subscribed to this group, 
then I also get alerts for when appointments are made and um, I also now when a file is shared with me or shared with the OneNote fans group I also get an email and so here's one showing and it's addressed to the OneNote fans and the recipients um, to field showing us that it is shared with the group and it's just indicating that it's come from Daryl Webster likewise again with the team site document and that's because I'm subscribed to the, the group and the activities. One other thing that I thought I'd try before I, I close this off is can I share a site with a, um, an Office 365 group? So what I've got here is a, a private site that I've created. It's got unique permissions and the only member of any of the groups that can access the site uh, is, is myself. And uh, to further demonstrate that we've got a um, Jack Sparrow who's logged in, he's part of the OneNote fans group and um, he can't currently access the uh, site, the private site that I created so I'll just visit that now and um, he still needs to request uh, permission to access that site. So what we'll do from, uh, from my login is uh, quickly try and share the site with the OneNote fans group, Office 365 group and I can share that OneNote fans I can add them to and now members of the OneNote fans Office 365 group will be able to be part of the members group so as I save that permission it's been shared with OneNote fans let's go back and have a look at Jack's experience of that so this is Jack and there's some new activity. So he's part of the OneNote fans group and he's subscribed to activity and looking in the conversation feed there's now a message from um, myself and, and the uh, other login that I'm using that I've shared that private team site with the OneNote fans group. And if I go back over to Jack's experience of that, let's just uh, refresh that URL. It looks now that Jack as part of the OneNote fans Office 365 group can access this team site. So this is something again that has been added um, as part of the new Office 365 groups experience. Um, now the, the downside to this at the moment is that while I can share a team site with an Office 365 group, um, that there isn't a place where I can pin that or um, allow people to see that um, uh, easily when they visit the group. So they will see that message in the conversations area when it gets shared with them. If they subscribe to the group, then they'll also get the email um, that will be sent through to their their um, their own personal mailbox. But um, what we will eventually see, as I understand it, is a something on the the group's delve page that will allow us to pin a team site or a list of team sites that can be associated with an Office 365 group. So there you have it, Office 365 Groups is more than just a collection of collaborative tools, it's now becoming a, an identity in its own right in Azure Active Directory where I can share files to a group, we'll see them in the sh files that are shared with us in the group's files view and we can also share sites to an Office 365 group. So I I'm looking forward to seeing what more has been rolled out over the, the next two or three weeks and, um, and also within the future. Thanks very much for watching.